Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I create solo travel vlogs of myself traveling around Europe showing you what I do, how I do it. But today's video is a little bit different. We are doing a business check-in. This is the second of the series. So if you haven't watched my January business check-in, recent analytics, all the things video, you can check it out up here. But before we get started, please hit that subscribe button below, like this video, give it some love. That really helps to keep this channel growing, this community to be developing and to keep making awesome videos for you. First things first, we have to get some coffee. So if you don't have a cup of coffee, get yourself one. We're gonna sit down and chat for a little bit and you might need some caffeination during this. So much better. First question you may have is, am I in Malta filming this right now? And the answer is no. So all my travel content is from last year. It is currently February 2023, February 10th to be exact, as I film this video. And I am in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, the place I call my base right now. If you subscribe, thank you. If you haven't, click that button below and let's get started. So number one thing we talk about is personal updates and what's going on in my life. And one of the best ways I find to communicate kind of a recap of either a week, a month, or a period of time is using this concept of highs and lows. So in our last video, we talked about a high being that my focus is really on YouTube and editing this content from last year and growing this channel and also learning Portuguese. And both those things are really a high for me and still a high priority also on my list. This channel's overall growth rate has doubled, if not quadrupled, no, tripled, somewhere. It's definitely growing a lot higher. We'll dive more into that, into analytics in a bit in this video. And I'm still learning Portuguese. I'm on a 200 plus day streak on Duolingo, <laughs> which obviously isn't enough to learn the language, but it's definitely helped to increase my vocabulary. I would say another high from this past month is financially I'm really focused in and dialed in. That's not to say I'm a millionaire suddenly, that would be nice, but I'm dialed in on what my goals are and that is obviously travel, building this brand and this business and what kind of investment that might need to be initially upfront. Attend to my sinking funds, making sure whatever income I am generating from either freelance work, YouTube affiliates, consulting, etc., that it is going to where I want it to be. Some lows for the month on the flip side of that is I went to the dentist finally, thankfully, and I found out I have cavities, which doesn't really surprise me because I have a huge sweet tooth, but I was so excited that in February, I have been using my sinking funds to finally save up for a new phone. This is my current phone. I've got McDonald coffee stickers from flight still on it, but you can see how broken and cracked it is. And you can look at yourself there. My phone is an eight plus. I think as a content creator, that's quite impressive that I am creating all this content on such an old phone. It would be nice to be able to use that point five zoom. That's kind of um, something I don't have access to right now. We were gonna buy it in February. We no longer can because we've decided healthcare is more important. So we're gonna get those cavities filled, which a low is like, I've been saving so long for this phone and to just kind of have it wiped is what it is, you know? But it is a bit disappointing. And then I still don't have any travel booked. I mean, in my head, I know dates and flights and I have it all planned out. I have it on my notes, but no flights are booked. So that's a low. One thing I've really enjoyed doing is going to my public library as kind of my co-working second space, shall we call it? So anytime I feel kind of a lump in my workflow or feel a need to get out of my work from home office, I go to the public library. So that's personal updates round one. Time for that sip of coffee. Section number two is content creation, brand growth, this 80 brand, what's happening with it? Where's it going? Last video, I shared that I had 19 videos left to edit, but it's thankfully down to 13 videos. I am focused, I'm dialed in, I'm trying to make this happen. I'm also constantly trying to be two weeks ahead, which as every day passes, that gets farther and farther away. But that is the goal right now is to stay dialed in on being two weeks ahead of content. And then once that is kind of caught up and up to date, that is where we will expand into more development on the YouTube channel, like sponsorships, and hopefully at that time I'll be into monetization, down the line, maybe merch. I'm getting ahead of myself, that's for the goal section, but it's really exciting. So a huge thank you 
to all of you who have subscribed and made this channel feel really rewarding in all the hours I've put into editing. So in terms of content creation, a few things have changed and I'm kind of sticking to my own plan and trying to yes, see what's trending and what's popular, but also, you know, follow what my gut is and what I want to share because ultimately if I'm not happy sharing it, it's not gonna feel authentic and exciting. A few kind of series we could call them have started my cost of a trip. It's a transparent way of sharing what does it actually cost to do what I did. And I feel that, yeah, people talk about budget travel and they talk about, oh, I saved X amount of money, but there's those little things like in Europe, you have to pay for the washrooms. A dollar here or there really can add up. And also that's great, you got a plane ticket or a train ticket for like eight euros, but what are you doing for lunch when you're on that train for five hours? These series of transparency are intended to be a way to really open up the door and the conversation about going to a place and a location for X amount of time, how much it's really gonna cost you. So we have the cost of travel and then anytime I've been in a hostel, I've been giving you a hostel tour in a short form. And it's fun for my Canadian friends to see into this peak of an eye of what a European hostel looks like. They're not as grungy, maybe is the word, as they used to be. Um, I genuinely really enjoy staying in them and it's a perfect way to socialize and make new friends when traveling solo. I need a sip of water, got my Lark bottle. So I've shared two daily vlogs in the last month and Instagram has just completely eaten them up. They love them so much. TikTok, they're sitting flat and YouTube, my last daily vlog went really fast, like over a thousand views in the first 30 minutes, which for my channel is bonkers. So that's really exciting to see. And I love sharing these daily vlogs because my life right now feels What's the word? I don't know. It doesn't feel so ooh la la compared to when I'm traveling, but I definitely think there is value in sharing moments of relatability for you. So you can give those a check out. They're on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. Long-term ideas. Last month we talked about the idea that I want to grow my digital products. That's still an idea. And my podcast is still on the radar. I'm always open to ideas. So if you feel like there's something, there's a nugget that you're missing, please comment below and I'd be happy to look into how we can provide those resources and tips and ideas for you. We are diving into section three, which is analytics, which was really a juicy section in last month's video. You all seem to be really interested in the back end, and so am I. I love analytics. Of course, they are numbers, and it's this idea that you shouldn't rely on the numbers. Followers just mean something, but I'm a numbers person. It's super rewarding to see percentage of growth. Also, it's super helpful to find out what's going on with your business and your brand and your content. Just like you would say, how many burgers did I sell instead of hot dogs? Of course, the veggie burgers and veggie dogs. You're gonna want to know like, what are my customers buying, viewing, seeing, what's working well and what should I sell again? And that's the kind of concept I use. Let's dive into YouTube. We are going to look at views. So you can see my views for the last 28 days we're looking at has been 11,700, which is 5.2 more than usual. So almost double, which is bonkers. I um, have gained 87 subscribers. So since I last filmed this video, it has been almost exactly 100 new subscribers to date, which I'm so stoked about. And every morning it's kind of like Christmas for me to see this channel growing. So again, if you're already subscribed, you're my best friend, like, thank you so much. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing. Uh, you're, you're really starting to make someone's dream come true on this YouTube world, and uh, I appreciate it greatly. So we have 87 subscribers more than usual. Watch time is up a lot more too, and watch time means like how long y'all are staying watching this. So we're gonna dive into subscribers a little bit more. In the last 28 days, we can see that Monaco has definitely been a huge video. And the reasoning I think for this is Monaco is kind of that out of touch location and maybe has been viewed as such a luxurious location that folks feel like they can't achieve it. So I think by sharing a solo travel, it's definitely performing way more than I thought. And the funny thing is I edited that in like a day and I thought, oh, it's not very good. I don't think it's gonna perform as well. And it's funny, you never know what's going to catch on for whatever reason. So that's exciting to see Monaco. It's almost at a thousand views too, which is insane for me. And then we can see some of my niece videos have done well. 
And also my January business check-in video did well. And that was the goal was to bring in maybe a new audience, maybe a new five subscriber audience, different than my solo travel audience. So that's stoked to see. So that's stoked to see. I am stoked to see that. And also one of my shorts did really well. So it was kind of a pun about how to save money in the richest country in the world in Monaco. You'll have to watch it. <laughs> and I hope you think it's as bunny as I do. Hopefully that pun worked. <laughs> Let's go to subscription status. So in January's check-in video for the last 28 days, 92% of you weren't subscribed. And now it's down to 89%, but I see you. Subscribe, please, folks. Like it's insane that 11% of you who watch these, who engage, um, are subscribed, and then 89% of you are not. So also I have been experimenting in the content world with Pinterest, I mentioned that in my last video. So the per percentage of growth has been like 600% or something, but it's not leading back to YouTube, which is my goal. It's not converting people back to YouTube. What was interesting is this past week, I was on LinkedIn for a client and then it kind of just led me into why am I not posting my videos on LinkedIn? It's probably a different audience than what's on Instagram, Facebook, etc and it seemed to have worked. So we can see why people come to my video for views. The shorts feed feeds 50%, which is insane how shorts have taken off on YouTube in the past year. People are searching for topics related to my video, browse feature channel pages. But then if we scroll down to external, which is really important piece of material for me and maybe for you as well, if you're starting your YouTube channel is how are people coming to your channel outside of the YouTube algorithm. So we can see Facebook does really well for me. I think it's quite an easy click type page compared to Instagram. Instagram, you always have to go to your link in bio if it's a post. Um, and then LinkedIn, it's up there. It's 18 views have come from LinkedIn. 13% of my external audience and growth comes from that. And then we can see WhatsApp, which is probably me messaging my friends to watch my videos. Even Facebook Messenger is interesting to see here and it is it is insane how much information is here. I don't know if other YouTubers dive this deep in and maybe in like a year's time, I won't be diving this deep in, but for right now, it's really helpful when I do what I call my PR or public relations of posting a new video. Comment below, are you enjoying this? Are you not? We are going to dive into Instagram. Wow, I've gotten two new followers since I last looked. That's kind of exciting. So let's go into my insights here and I find insights of Instagram. Insights of Instagram, that's a tongue twister. Really, really helpful to see. So we're gonna go into account insights. So we're again doing the last 30 days, which is what we did previously in my January video. And in my January video, I had 2,840 followers. And as of this moment right now, right here, 2,862. So I have gone up 22 followers in 30 days. I am fine with that. I, in my soul, I'm fine with that. I can't control it. It's something out of my control. You know, they tell you that in therapy, like control what you can, or they tell me that in therapy, but what is out of my control? All I can do is post and try and um, learn new skills and algorithm tricks, but it is what it is. So let's go into total followers. I think the funny thing is, is I've gotten actually gotten. I, yeah, gotten. <laughs> English is my first language. I have gotten. <laughs> 55 new follows in the last 30 days, but 38 people have unfollowed me. And I find often when I post, people unfollow me. I don't know why that is. It's the same as last video. We can see Vancouver and Calgary are still performing well, and then country, 58% of you are Canadian, which is really fun to see. We can also see that 64% uh, of you are women, so hello ladies, um, or female identifying at least, and 35% of you are male identifying. Always really useful to me is how many accounts engaged. So we can see that was up 89% compared to the last 30 days. That's a huge number for Instagram. I'm really excited to see that. And we can see that 278 people were followers of mine and 412 of you don't follow me. So kind of that same concept of not subscribed. It's up 50% and that's due to my reels. So what is like insane to me is two of my last reels, this one, thanks for listening. That was one of my daily vlogs. It got 16,000 views. Folks, that happened in like three hours. And you can see 15,000 of you don't even follow me. So 
you're coming from somewhere. And then I posted my cost of Barcelona video that's gotten to over 12,000 views. Again, so many of you are non-followers. So it's really exciting to see that these reels are putting my content in front of new people. 24 saves as well, holy guacamole. I need to take a breath, I'm excited. That's actually crazy. I haven't looked at these stats yet and like 24 saves is a lot. And I hope people come back or refer to that video again and come back for more. It's crazy to see that my accounts rate is up 560%. You can see 35,000 people from those two reels basically in the last two days. You can see that reels have absolutely blown my content out of the water. You can see that 35,000 people have seen this content and I've gained 20 followers. I'm trying to debate like, is followers more important or is impressions and reach? And I think I'm diving into, first of all, impressions and reach seems to work for my platform. So go with what's naturally going, like keep floating down that river. I do want to just kind of share my content and get it out there. So followers will come and people who are really engaged enough to follow will, and that's exciting to see but I think reach and impressions is important to extend that audience to kind of grow that bubble of folks that you engage with. So if you came to this video from Instagram, hello, thank you for being here. Nice to see you. All right, that's it for Instagram. Give me a follow, it's Anna underscore Duke, not Duke, Duke. I've also been updating my highlights across here. So I've been trying to update those about every two weeks as well. All right, let's dive into TikTok next. TikTok on the clock. DJ blow that speaker up. All right, TikTok. This, pff, whoa, first of all. Okay, this channel, it, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I think TikTok has plummeted in this idea of you will go viral, it will be quick. Even if you go viral, like those two reels I had on Instagram, they are short-lived, that vir virality, virality? virality is short-lived. On TikTok, what I have noticed is that posting consistently has slowly increased my followers. So that's exciting to see it's at 486, but we're gonna dive deeper into the analytics. So let's go into creator tools and analytics. And again, we are going to be doing the last 28 days. Yeah, funny enough, my video views have gone down and I've been posting about just as consistent as the 30 days before in terms of number of videos, but People aren't liking it. People aren't seeing it as much. I don't know. We can see my likes are even down. Comments are down. There was a huge spike on January 26th. Can't remember what that video was. Uh, let's go into content then. So yeah, my last three posts, I usually get around 270 is like my average or my expectation of a video. So anything above that for views is really great. And we can see that lots of old videos are really trending upwards. But yeah, we can see that overall, it's like such a slow growth. It's 3% up. Nothing like that crazy 500% growth like Instagram. It is what it is. You know what? I'm going to keep posting there. I think consistency is key there and it does bring in this just different audience. Um, and I'm also reusing my content. So it's not like I'm spending so much time on that platform that maybe isn't quite giving me what I want. We'll see how it goes. Maybe next month I won't do it. Who knows? We'll dive into it when it's time. All right, we're heading to section four, which is goals. And I really want to reflect on last month's video. I also just had to like calm my energy down because that Instagram stats were making me so excited. So last video I talked about short-term, long-term, financially, seasonally, personally. So short-term travel, yes, still the same goal and it's gonna happen. I'm putting it out in the universe. It is going to happen. We just don't know what date exactly yet. Um, long-term, we are building those financial systems to help me stay in place. And also long-term and just organizing life, like organizing my business, my freelance work and my personal work. I am loving using just the reminders app on my phone and the notes app on my phone, but I have a MacBook, so it's all synced together. And I love those because they're free. Why pay for another subscription service where if you have Apple products, these Two systems are already free and don't pay for another subscription. So they are keeping me in check, constantly reminders every day of what I wanna do on what day and what 
tasks, like breaking down tasks too. So if I have a big meeting coming up, what are the things I need to get prepared until that meeting time? That really helps me to not feel overwhelmed. It really helps my brain to compartmentalize that I can achieve what I'm out to do. Longer term sponsorships are still a huge goal of mine. And if you're a business watching this video, please email me, let's work together. However, I know editing is priority number one and it's been this like, which one do I do? Which one I do? Sponsorship says this opportunity to help pay me for the content that I'm putting out, but then I still need to put out content and it's not edited. It's not ready. So I've chosen to stick and invest my time. This side will come. If you're still here, all right, we're diving into section five, which is favorites. We will zoom through this folks. Cause I know you want to know how much money I made, honey, how much money I made, honey, another tongue twister. I'm on fire today. Three favorites I wanna talk about this month is Squarespace, my new pants, and my new earrings. So Squarespace first is the platform I'm choosing to use my website and my newsletters on. If you're not subscribed to my newsletter, please subscribe because there's some juicy topics that I think you might be interested in. I share travel tips kind of behind the scenes weekly of what's going on in the business and my personal life. Pants, I am in love with these high-waisted trousers from Everlane. They are a little bit pricey. They're for sure an investment piece for me. I bought them with the idea that I would take them traveling and so far they have been very comfortable to work in because they are more of a wide leg trouser. They're super comfy to sit in. You can cross your legs. You have some flexibility to move. Number three is these new earrings. Now the thing is they're not new. These are earrings from my mom's from the eighties that are silver and I just polished them up and I think they look super cute. And I love this idea of reusing jewelry from past and not purchasing something new. The last favorite is books. Last month I said I was reading A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I never finished that book though. I don't know, I tried to get into it and it just wasn't, the juices weren't flowing. But we did finish It's Not a Summer Without You, which is the sequel to The Summer I Turned Pretty. It's also a series on Amazon Prime. Easy read, cutesy, teenage love. Like I also finished reading It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, which I did super like. And now I'm diving into The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo which has been on social media and TikTok trending as well. Now, the last piece you've all been waiting for. Show me the money. One more sip. How much money did I make the last 30 days? I didn't make zero dollars like last month's video. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do when it does. <laughs> We're gonna dive into YouTube and I wanna show you first how much money I've made on YouTube. So on YouTube here, we're going to my earn little category on the side and no, zero dollars. I'm not quite there yet. So I've definitely like, it's changed this back end and I'm not sure if that's because I have more subscribers or views and they're kind of showing me what's possible, but we can see that I have 708 subscribers as I film this video and I need a thousand and one of the following. So this has opened up that if someone has 10 million views on their shorts, which I guess if a short goes stupid viral, then you have that. But it's really great to see that these public watch hours are now in the 3000s and I'm getting there. You know what? Slow and steady, baby. Right now the algorithm or my algorithm and calculation tells me that, un momento por favor. <laughs> that was a mix of Spanish and Italian. That was horrible. Last time I did this calculation is that I would reach a thousand subscribers July 11th. And as of today for this video, May 16th, based on the last 28 days of analytics and subscribers, I should reach a thousand subscribers May 16th, which is like so exciting for me. Yeah, I'm pumped. So affiliates, I didn't make enough um, money for any kind of payout, so nothing to report there. Buy me a coffee, someone bought me some coffees. And that is like, I love buy me a coffee because it feels like I get to go. <laughs> Siri just literally captured me saying, thanks for your help and subscribing below. I didn't make enough mention. You mentioned I mentioned find me a coffee and Siri said my pleasure. Girl, we did not go for coffee. You did not buy me anything. Anyway, someone bought me a coffee and I love it because internationally it means that we can go for a little coffee day and it really feels warm. And something to mention there is I have opened up my close friends membership. And you're wondering maybe what that is. It means that 
for the next hey. people, you get a free spot to be part of my Instagram close friends circle. It gives you an inside scoop and glimpse of what's happening when I'm traveling, when I'm at home, content creation. So hit the link in my description below to join that. And then for sponsorships, as we mentioned, it's a goal of mine, it's just not a priority. And so we're sitting at zero. So we made $22. It's really hard to sit and dance. Made it. Love doing these and if you sat through this all I really want to raise my mug glass and toast to you thank you for being here subscribe like this video comment what you enjoyed about this video below it really helps me to know what you want to see for the next one thanks for being here friends have an amazing week ahead and we'll see you in the next one ciao Ow. am I in Malta the quick question is so that was a nice bang uh, to the to the bucket of the bank account. That made no sense. <laughs> In terms of content, great. Um, just taking a breather here. We are going to dive into Instagram. No, we're not. We're going to record first. Cut that. But, uh, yeah, it costed. Okay, we're redoing that. Uh, la, 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 la. So three very very. I'm absolutely pumped. I lost my page on my computer. We're diving back in.